What if Squid Game was played in America? Squid Game is a very popular and trending television show on Netflix that was released earlier this year. It was filmed in South Korea and has received some exceptional reviews from critics and the public. The premise of the show according to Google is that Hundreds of cash strapped contestants accept an invitation to compete in children's games for a tempting prize, but the stakes are deadly. Now I will warn you to accurately answer the question, what if Squid Game was played in America? I will have to deep dive into the entire show, which will mean some spoilers will take place. So if you haven't seen the show in its full entirety, then this is your trigger warning. Okay, now that that's out of the way, Let's break this thing down. The first thing that we're going to cover is location. If Squid Game happened in America, then they would need a massive location to house this game of death and money. In the show, the players are on a nondescript island in what the viewer can only assume is the Pacific Ocean off of the coast of Korea. After some research, I was able to discover that the real life location where they filmed the show is on an island called Seongbong Ri. I was unable to discover the exact area of this specific island, however after evaluating some pictures, it's safe to say that it is at least several kilometers long. It should also be noted that this is an abandoned island, which is needed if one is to run a game as complex as Squid Game and have the police not get involved. So if the game was to happen in America, then the person or group running it would need an area of at least several kilometers long that is secluded enough to avoid having trespassers accidentally stumbling upon your game. The best place in my opinion would be the Aleutian Islands of Alaska. This is a collection of 14 volcanic islands that stretch from Alaska deep into the Pacific Ocean. All of these islands would fit the size requirements needed to have a Squid Game facility there and the population of all these islands combined is under 10,000 people. Several of the islands are reportedly have no settlements at all, meaning that they would be perfect for somebody to set up their game. It should also be noted that even if the players in the game were to escape, they would be trapped on an island in Alaska deep in the Pacific and would have no way to get back to the mainland. Now, assuming the game was to take place on these Aleutian Islands, then the person or group running this would need to have a means of not only getting hundreds of people over to these islands, but also building this advanced structure out in the middle of nowhere. This is going to require a lot of money. Far more money than the actual prize money that the winner of Squid Game would receive, which works out to be 36 million American dollars. To construct something like this, we're probably looking at someone with not only hundreds hundreds of millions of dollars, but possibly even billions. We also have to imagine that money isn't the only thing needed here, but you also need secrecy. Even though Jeff Bezos might be able to fund the creation of Squid Game in America, I doubt he has access to several hundred people who will kill for money and also keep their mouths shut. If this operation isn't organized properly and someone in the group can't be trusted, then the FBI would sniff it out immediately, and it would never be able to get completed. This doesn't leave us with a lot of potential people capable of organizing this, but I think if anyone was to do it, then the most likely would be the American Mafia. Currently, in the Italian American Mafia, there is an estimated 3,000 members across the nation. This would definitely be enough people to organize an event like this and build the facility in the first place. Now, even though this Mafia isn't as prominent as it was several decades ago, it is still estimated that through various illegal acts, they bring in several billions of dollars in revenue annually. This is the type of organization and infrastructure necessary to finance an operation as massive as Squid Game. I would also assume that this mafia has access to their own airplanes and ships, so they would definitely have a means of transporting people to the Aleutian Islands where they would presumably set up their game. Now that we have the location and the organizer of Squid Game in America, we need to get the actual participants. In the show, the participants of the game were individuals who were so destitute that they felt it necessary to risk their lives and play this game to get enough money to survive. There was a massive number of people in this game as well, 456 individuals to be exact. This also means that these people were so down on their luck that they would rather have a 1 in 456 chance of winning the money, which is a 0.21% chance of survival by the way, over living another day in their life. Finding individuals who are as desperate in America wouldn't be too difficult though. It was estimated that in January of 2020, 
Just under 600,000 Americans were homeless and living on the streets. This is a massive number and even though some of them would not be willing to kill or die to make money on a 1 in 456 chance, I guarantee that you would be able to find enough to participate out of the 600,000 people that I just mentioned. This is also only looking at homeless individuals and not even people who are living in a home, but similar to some of the main characters in the show, are getting chased by the mob or debt collectors. I do think that the homeless population would be the most likely to get targeted though, because even though it's sad to say, they are the most likely to go unnoticed if missing which is important for the secrecy of the game. This also brings us to how the American Mafia would be able to keep this from the prying eyes of the American government. Now, what is actually a good thing for the organizers of this sick death game is that the crime rates are pretty low in South Korea. In the show, this is where the game took place and because it was successfully ran there, we can use that as a benchmark for where else in the world it could be successfully run. If the South Korean crime rates were extremely high, then that would most likely make it easier to organize considering the policing isn't as strong. However, considering it is low and they were able to get away with making this multi-billion dollar operation run without major interference from law enforcement, then one can assume that it could also be run in America. However, the means of communication would most likely need to be all word of mouth. Emails or phone calls can all be monitored, so I would imagine the American Mafia to establish a very stable chain of command and rollout of operations to limit the amount of communication necessary. I would also imagine that their target group would have to be spread out throughout the entire country. If they were to only target people in California, for instance, that would create much more of a splash and cause far more suspicion than if they were to target people in every state. However, I would imagine that the public would still hear some rumblings about something going on but with the amount of homeless people in America that go missing regularly, I doubt that anyone would be able to connect the dots in time to do anything about it. All in all, if Squid Game was to happen in America and if it was done correctly, we probably wouldn't hear anything about it at all. To do it correctly, I think it would have to be the American Mafia and they would have to take up residence on one of the Aleutian Islands. They would need an organized chain of command and have every step understood by the group so that they don't meet regularly and risk the police catching on. They would also most likely need to target homeless individuals and they would have to go missing from around the entire nation. If all of that is done, then they might actually be able to get away with it. For all we know, it could be happening right now. But please let me know in the comments down below what you think about all this. It's certainly interesting to dive in and look at all the logistics, but I obviously really hope that it's not actually going on because that would be pretty scary. Please hit the like and subscribe button. I've been your host, Nicholas Playlog. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. And they were able to get away. Sorry guys, somebody's sawing. He's really going after it, eh? Hmm? He's really going after it, eh? Dude, one time it was like last week, it was like 20 minutes straight. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, it's weird. Um, do you know where I was at? I think it was how I considered. Right.